What up everyone, welcome to BMG. It's your boy Brown Mamba. Hope you guys are doing good. So in this week I got some 2K16 gameplay for you guys. I'm the old school Lakers with Jerry West and Wilt the Stilt and I'm playing this year's Cavs. It's a good game, the game stays close till the end and something really funny and I guess predictable happens if you guys watch it. Um, I'm sure you guys get a good kick out of it. Other than that I am going to be talking about uh, the NBA Finals and which player has the most losses. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the top three most losses, which is I think eight losses, five losses, and four losses. There were a lot of four losses, so basically players have lost four times in the finals, and five times and eight times. And I'm just going to go through the players and how many championships they've won and how many they've actually lost right in the finals. So there's ten guys that have lost at least four times in the NBA finals. And out of the 10, only one is active, which basically means that he's still in the NBA. And potentially he could lose more and move up on the list, obviously. And I'll save him for last just because I'm sure you guys already know who he is. And out of the 10 people, there's a lot of guys that I personally don't know. Um, I'm, I'm sure you guys don't know either, but I'm going to go through it anyways because they did lose four times. So the guy named Max, he's lost four times with zero wins. Uh, Rudy LaRosso, he's lost four times in the finals and he hasn't won. There's a guy named Steve Mix. He's also has a won a championship and lost four times. Now there's a guy named Keith Erickson. He's actually won once but lost four times to do it. And Will Chamberlain, he's only won two championship rings, but he lost four times. And there's a guy named Mel Counts. He's won four. Oh, sorry, lost four and won twice. Danny Ainge, he's lost four and won twice. And then there's Magic Johnson, who's also lost four and won five times so at least he's won more than he lost and Kareem Abdur he's actually lost four and won six times so once again he's above 500 he's won more than he's lost and finally the only active player to have lost at least four times in the finals it's LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James so he's lost four times in the finals, but he's actually won three rings already. He just won this year, his third one, which is probably his best one. I, you know what, he had a good team. It was a good finals. Golden State collapsed at the end. Irving hit that crazy shot to win it. And you know what, I'm not going to take that away from LeBron. I, I'm not a big fan of that guy, but at the end of the day, he won three, which is great. He's still below 500, meaning he's lost more than he's won, and I'm sure he still has more... You know, obviously more time left in the NBA, so potentially he could win some more or maybe even lose and get to the top three in losses in the finals. One thing I do want to point out, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, is the championships he's won, someone else has always hit that clutch shot. Like that one game Ray Allen hit that three for him and the other game Dwayne Wade went off. And this year, Irving hit that three at the end. I'm just, I'm just pointing out the obvious. Not saying that LeBron didn't kill it in the series, he obviously did. But at the end when the clock was ticking and, you know, someone had to step up and take the shots, it was never LeBron. Like, you know, obviously if it was like Kobe Bryant or Jordan, they'd want the ball. Even though they might miss or they're having an off game, they'd still want to take the last shot. And, you know, they would. So... I'm just pointing that out. The next player on my list, he's lost five times and has won zero rings. His name is Larry Faust. He's played in the 50, so I'm not too familiar with him. And yeah, so he lost five times. That's the second most lost games. Oh, sorry, lost finals. And now finally, the top two guys have lost the most in the finals. Um, one is very famous. And the other guy, he's pretty famous too. I don't know if a lot of you guys might know him. But the, the guy who's lost eight times and actually... Um, has no championships at all. His name is Elgin Baylor. He played in the, the 60s and the 70s and the 50s. So he played in 59 and all the way up until 70 and he lost every single finals appearance he made. Elgin Baylor, so he's 0 for 8. And now the face of the NBA, Jerry West, he also has the most losses of 8, but he's at least won one championship um, and that was in 72. So he's 1 in 8. It's still pretty bad. Like, you know, making the finals that many times by not being able to win, it kind of sucks. At the end of the day, he's a great player. He's, the, I guess, the, the logo of the NBA. I still believe that they should probably change that into Jordan's logo. And I don't know why they haven't, but it is what it is. And yeah, so that's it, guys. So Jerry West has lost eight. eight uh, Elgin Baylor has lost eight. Maybe LeBron James will catch up to these guys and get nine or ten losses and set that record as well. But then again, if Cavs start losing, he'll probably leave and make another super team with like Durant and Carmelo and all those guys. So now for the last part of the video, I'm going to go play by play to show you exactly what happened in this gameplay. It's actually pretty funny. So LeBron James has the ball with 46 seconds left. What does he do? He obviously passes to Irving because he doesn't want the ball. And I'm trying to steal it off him and I foul Irving. 
You see what I mean? Like just like real life, LeBron just passed it off in the last minute of the game and hopes that the other players will win it for him. So obviously Irving hits both shots. He is Mr. Clutch. I think he's one of the clutchest players in the NBA right now, especially with Kobe retired, he's definitely the clutch. So anyways, I pass it to Jerry West. I'm trying to get a basket here. You know, I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna go for the three. Step back for the three, but then I wasn't on the line. Wasn't on the line again, then I finally step back and there he is, Jerry West with a three. So I bring it within um, three points, thinking that, okay, I have a chance, I have a chance. Irving has a ball and I'm gonna play tight D on him, hopefully try to steal it off him. And I actually do with Jerry West. He's actually a pretty good defender and there it is. So I steal it and I get the easy basket. It actually wasn't that easy, it was pretty tough, but it went in. So now I'm within one with 14 seconds left, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to follow LeBron because he's probably one of the worst free throw shooters. And he obviously misses the first one, so I was happy. So I still have a pretty good chance. He makes a second. You know what, he should have missed a second too, but I feel like the NBA just wants Cavs to win, and there's some sort of glitch in the game where LeBron's always going to win. So anyways, J Jerry West has the ball, I'm trying to score. But I'm getting fucked up, and then I take a corner shot with Baylor, and I miss, but Wilta still jams it home in my boy Tristan Thompson's face. So the game's tied right now, I'm happy as hell, thinking that, okay, you know, I have a good chance. But there's still a lot of time left on the clock, there's two and a half seconds left on the clock. If it was Jordan or Kobe, I w I'd be worried. I'm like, you know what, they're going to get the ball, and they're going to hit it. And I thought maybe, you know what, it's a game, maybe LeBron will take the shot. But he just sets picks for somebody else and gets J.R. Smith open and he takes the last shot and they friggin' hit it. So they're up by three. But see what I mean? Even the game knows not to give it to LeBron in the last seconds. Like what, what, what was LeBron doing? He could have got the ball if he wanted to, but instead he was setting picks and screens and shit. And the ball went to J.R. Smith and he hit the shot. So even the game knows not to give it to LeBron at the end. So I basically had no chance. I had 0.2 seconds left. I, I can't even touch the ball. Like the ball comes in and the clock is over so yeah I thought it was pretty funny um, you know what same thing happened against Golden State in the finals this year Irving hit that crazy shot I'm not saying LeBron's not the best player in the league he obviously is but it's just funny how you know what he doesn't like taking the final shot but anyways that's my video guys I hope you guys liked it please press the like button leave a comment even if you didn't like the video leave a comment tell me what you didn't like or how I could make my videos going forward better or any other ideas you might have for videos or other records or stats you want to see and I'll make videos on that I do have more Minecraft videos coming out I'm working on some stuff right now my subscriber count keeps going up I'm happy about that yeah if you guys enjoy my videos like them share them and subscribe let your friends know whoever and yeah and I'll catch you guys on the next one Mamba out Peace.